Hey Welcome back or welcome if you're new. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. My name is Rebecca aka Nuclear Nail Bomb and today I'm doing a shopping haul from AliExpress, Shein and Timu. Starting off with this nail charm box which is super cute and it was so cheap. 92p well, plus the shipping which I think was like a pound or something so, but still bargain. Um, I've got a whole jar of goodies here. Uh, a lot of them though, unfortunately, where I've gone back to get screenshots of the prices and stuff, they don't have them anymore. But if I have been able to find them, I'm popping in these little thumbnails here. Well, screenshots. But these super cute little Hello Kitty nail charms. I thought they were the perfect first thing to put in here. If you're bored of like organising and you don't want to watch this, fast forward because there's a lot of this. And obviously failing to get them all in. <laughs> and I found these cute little duckies that I thought would be brilliant for Easter. Because I don't know why for Easter we do ducks and rabbits or whatever, but they're super cheap as well. They're from Team U, I believe. Super cute, they're tiny. Next up are this. This are these mixture of different little charms they're all pink though there's some bows there's like a little rabbit um what else is there flowers shell just loads of random stuff but it's all pink and then i couldn't find a link for this um oh i couldn't find the page for this but there's so many things just like it on team yushi and aliexpress all of those or same with these as well I'm afraid what happens is uh, I'll go to my like to review stuff to see where I bought stuff and this comes up when I click on it so no prices for those I'm afraid uh, same for these as well I think a lot of these are quite generic you'll find similar things if you just type in hearts or mixed crystals etc etc these I don't have prices for I did all the ones that I did have before, at the beginning um, but they are all quite you know generic I think anyway there's loads of similar things like in this mix the little rainbow with the clouds I found packets that were just the rainbows with the clouds but not a mix so well, you know but you can just uh, enjoy the ASMR of the packet opening and dropping everything in Is it just me or is do you find this satisfying as well? Now that it's full and I'm closing it, I'm like, mm. it makes me feel happy inside. I need to get a life. How cute are these now? I couldn't find the exact same ones that like you saw in that picture, like the the, uh, the Hello Kitty sticker on there was pink and mine's black, but whatevs this is very similar and super cute i had to give it a little blow though that's some dog hair in <laughs> like everything in my house is covered in dog hair my delightful jack likes to uh shake and, and throw it everywhere anyway these are like some of those solid clays the, but the, i think i've got one white one and a few clear and once again i couldn't find these exact ones but there are so many on there um and they're they're very like reasonable they're like a couple of quid each a couple of dollars for an and um, yeah i'll just let you listen to the crinkle
I'm really excited to use these. I know that it says um, extender, like solid extender, because you can use them for either applying tips or kind of moving into the shape of a, a nail extension, but I want to use them to do 3D art. So yeah, that's what I plan on using them for. And this is a little um, bling adhesive set. So you get a tub, uh, well, this is like the little squirty one where once you've stuck your crystals on you can go around all the little gaps with the little needle bit at the end and squeeze in the little gaps so that there's no way you're going to catch your hair and whatnot and this is the other tub of the, the gel stuff and once again I don't have a price for this but I think it was just a few pounds um, and there's loads of similar stuff on all the sites I'm sure you've seen them before but I have used this already and it was quite good the uh, the solid gel well it's not like the other solid gel it's a bit more jelly like um i just used a little what are they called you know the little swab things that are like cotton buds but they're lymph free oh, i don't remember what they're called anyway something swabs they're called um i just used one of those to scoop out a little bit of gel so watch me struggle trying to get it open with my tweezers because I don't want to put my fingers in it. I think I do in the end. <laughs> and I was just checking the consistency of that. So that is like more gel-like rather than the solid gel. But it is good. I used it already. Just getting the sticky stuff off my fingers and off my tweezers and stuff. They're also from AliExpress. They were a couple of pounds for a set. And there's just some more of those solid gels. I think I've got a few duplicates. Um, I just ordered a few different ones of the same thing just to kind of see if there was any difference in the quality and the clarity because they're all clear except for one. Um, I probably will do some stuff where I have clear 3D and then some with like chrome and colours and whatnot. So I just wanted to get a few so I could play around because they were so cheap. I thought, why not? I'm just, uh, I wanted to pop that bubble because you know, I'm a child and it was, it didn't pop as satisfyingly as I would have liked, but pop it, pop it back on and put it away in my lovely little Hello Kitty box. And now this is another gel for doing 3D, but unlike the others, this is in a squeezy little bottle thing. This again was, like, I think, like one pound ninety or something, um, and it is a clear gel, but it's like um, a squirty one. So you kind of, I'm guessing that you use it kind of like a ice in a cake type thing. I'm just gonna test it out on a, a nail swatch because I can't wait. I just wanted to see how it came out. And I will definitely need to practice a little bit before I uh, use it. Because <laughs> that looks bloody awful. As you can see, this is not quite like the picture, <laughs> but it was quite cheap. And I have used this after I've done a few layers of it. It, it does look nice, but it's not really showing up much here. But even though it does look nice, it's not quite like the picture. So yeah, we always take these things with a pinch of salt. I'm just gonna wipe it off because obviously uh, I didn't put any base coat or anything and I'm not gonna cure it because CBA. Just, just wanted to see the colour. If you can hear that 
annoying sound in the background, I do apologise, it's my washing machine. And here I'm just sticking a few other bits that I've got into this little pink container. Um, I don't know if I go for all of these because they are just kind of refills for me, they're just generic things that I already have. Little pearls which you can buy on any website. I've got the pink ones and then the kind of off-white ones. Um, and then some white ones, and then there's some little mandrel bits of sanding bands, which they sell everywhere as well. But yeah, just I like to stick all the new stuff in little containers like this, and then I'll go into my drawers and sort them out properly. Oh, I like these. These are some little snake things. Again, I've seen these on all of the sites as well. I'm just clearing my desk of the thousand million little plastic bags that I have. <laughs> I wasn't too fussed about those so I don't think I open them and show you. They're just some chains but the colours are a bit yeah. looks a bit dirty so I wasn't too fussed about those. But I think they were only like a pound. And I got some iridescent powder. Um, I haven't trusted that out yet. I'm not sure if it's any good so I won't recommend it just yet. But I've, again I've got stuff like that already. I uh, just run out. I thought this was cute, this was like a pound, just to go on the end of my cuticle nippers so when I'm storing them they're not going to stab me because I have stabbed myself a few times with those. <laughs> I don't know why I'm waving them around like that but yeah it's cute. Again this was, I think it was like 70p or something. What have we got next? My desk is absolutely covered in stuff at this point. And now we're going on to some gel polishes I got. I won't lie, I did just kind of like the bottles. I thought they looked fancy. But these are from Shein. Unfortunately, they're sold out. Like everything on there that's any good. <laughs> but you never know, they might come back in stock. So yeah, I think these are cute. Called, I don't know how you pronounce this, Mayo, Maya, Mayo, Mia, Mayo, Mia, I don't know, but the colours are really cute, they kind of all come out a little bit jelly, I do do some um, little swatch things because all of my gel bottles that I have are from the gel bottle and they have like a little tab on the top of the bottles that has the colour but these don't so who has time to be going through and checking every colour when you're trying to find one specific colour so I've got some little bows to go on there which you'll see soon. We do come back to these in a minute but I just want to get through everything. Now, I've ordered this as well and um, I definitely needed this. I do have one already. I've got like a little pink one that I have had since I started doing nails and it's seen better days you know and you've cleaned it a million times and it just it just looks rough. I thought I'd treat myself to a new one, seeing as they're not very expensive. And this one's got that little brush thing on it to clean your bits with. I'll let you watch me fill it up, I find it quite satisfying. I started testing out the brush bit and then realised why the lid is the way it is because as I was doing it the dust was going all inside which is blue dust because there's some blue gel polish on there but yeah the lid's pretty nifty put it on and then it doesn't uh, go everywhere but I do quite like these brushings obviously it's easier if you have your drill bit in your e-file and you can just put it on a low a low spin like a washing machine you can um, just have it on like five between five and ten and and it does get all the dust off the gold brush is like metal the white one is um, a bit softer so yeah 
Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I get exceptionally brave here, but I feel like this is the ultimate test. Can I shake it without them all falling out? <laughs> you can turn it upside down and the lid stops them from falling out, which is amazing. And then, <laughs> and then here are, <laughs> I feel like it's, it's just never ending the amount of stuff. This, these are those um, gloves. I don't know if you can see my hands. My left hand is a little bit darker than my right. And that is because I'm always sticking my left hand in the lamp. And I kind of, for ages, just thought this was a fudge, but I thought, you know what? If it stops me from having odd coloured hands and in any way can protect my hands, then I might as well get them. As you saw, they were very cheap, so why not, eh? So yeah, there's the gloves. They do feel a bit cheap. There are threads sticking off and stuff, but you know, yeah, look at that, that finger's already split. So yeah, you get what you pay for sometimes, I guess, but I only need one. Up next are these pink tip containers, which I think I'm going to have to get some more of because I really like these. And I've already put my tips in them. They're quite big, so you can fit a lot in. I've got two, but I will get more. Um, I couldn't find the, the exact same ones. They are from AliExpress, but I've just popped in a little screenshot of some similar ones that are on there. So these are also from AliExpress. Um, one of the more pricier things that I bought, ooh, oh, seven pounds. Um, it came with that free, uh, not free, but it was included, the crystal picker. Um, I'm just gonna open the box, this is how it comes. And then there's just a whole bunch of different shapes and sizes of these red crystals. And I bought these and not another color because I don't seem to have any red crystals. I have loads of other colors and I keep looking for red ones and never have any. So here we are. It is annoying that you have to open all the little bags, but I imagine if they weren't in those little bags, they'd probably end up everywhere on the journey. So we appreciate that. I am afraid that I am not going to open every single bag and pour them out for you to watch. I know I said ooh ASMR, but I am um, I just <laughs> couldn't be bothered after this. So yeah, I just open up one to see what they are like, and then that's it. I mean, they're not the best quality yet. So they're not very expensive, but they will do the job. And up next we have this classy little packet of brushes, um, £2.94 I think that said. I have used these and I like them, I mean they look good, at, like you know and I like that they've got the lids and they're just kind of, you know, they're alright as you can see my uh, old brushes a little bit has seen better days but that one I just showed you I think I got a pack of four from Amazon and I paid like £10 for them and this was £3. And they have lids. So yeah. It's a kind of like a multi-pack. There's a short brush, a very long brush, a medium brush. Um, I separately bought a square brush as well just for using to apply gel. But yeah, I really like these. And for that price, can you really complain? Obviously, with Amazon, you're paying for... Um, the convenience because obviously I order on Amazon and I can get next day delivery whereas these took you know weeks to come but moving to frame there we go you can see the different sizes but yeah they're lovely I've used them a few times no problems whatsoever no complaints right so I will apologize for the higgledy piggledyness of this video because you saw me using these tweezers a minute ago but um yeah the video is not in order but anyway these cute little uh, not little, they're quite long actually, tweezers. And there's the straight edged ones and then there's the curved edged ones. 
and like I said, I, like you could see there, I showed you, I had a pair already, but do they look like this? No, they do not. They also have this cute little rubber bit on the end that you can use to, or I'm planning to use it for if I'm doing any foils, just to put things down. And you saw me using them to jab the gel, <laughs> jabba gel, jabba jabba. Anyway, yeah. And for that price, why would you not replace those manky ones that I already had? So yeah, I'm really happy with these. They're pretty, serve a purpose. And they were cheap. <laughs> Now this is something I am very excited about because I've never ever bought these before and I've never seen any in real life. I've only ever seen them in YouTube videos and on Instagram. They are duck tips. Woo so expect to see some duck nails come in in the future. I bought some full cover ones and some that are just tips just because I wasn't sure what I wanted but they were both, you know, like around £2 each. So And... Yeah, you can probably find them on any of those sites and I couldn't find the exact link for these so I'll just, if you wanted to get some, not sure if you will, but yeah, you can just have a Google and get them and find them yourself. You do some work. I can't be giving away all the secrets, tips and tricks now, can I? <laughs> but yeah, I, I can't wait to use these. And then, da, 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 I've always wanted one of these. I haven't tested it out yet. Hopefully it's not rubbish, but I've got an airbrush and it looks fancy and expensive and it really was not. For the price of 10 pounds of 51 pence, you too can be the owner of an airbrush. And it's cordless, you just charge it up. It is from AliExpress, but again, I've seen them on a few different sites. I've popped the little thing in there. Yeah, 10 pounds, can you believe it? And here's Jack being nosy, because I'm opening stuff. It's a little, it's a little terror, so cute. I'm just popping it all out to take a look, but I'm not actually gonna use it yet. Um, but yeah, it comes with these two little, I guess where it's where the paint goes. I'm like, oh, does it go on here? Because I'm, you know, not bothering to look at the destructions, as I call them, aka instructions. You stick this bit on first. I was getting a bit ahead of myself. Look at him being nosy again. I'm just letting him have a sniff. <laughs> He's so cute with his little snaggly tooth. If you don't want to see him in future videos and you don't like dogs, tough shit. <laughs> He's my child. And if you don't like dogs, I don't like you. So there, bye. Here I am just struggling with uh, trying to put it together. I do eventually do it and I don't know why because I'm not going to use it, but you know, we get there in the end. This is painful to watch. <laughs> we'll just speed it up a little bit. Goes with my desk. I don't even know where he is. What are you barking at? Oh my goodness. Right, I think that's that for now. Because oh, I had enough of that. Anyway, moving on now to the Mayo Maya, I think we're going to call them. Mayo Maya. Mayo Maya gel polish. And I'm going to paint these cute little butterflies that go on the handle of the bowl. Just giving them all a little wipe with alcohol before, um, just in case they're a little bit dusty. And here we are with the first colour. Colour numero uno. Uno. <laughs> Number one. They seem quite nice. I'm liking the viscosity. And then going in, I do put a second coat on, but I don't think I torture you with that will be here all day but yeah I quite like these they're all jelly so a little bit transparent and you can build them up as much as you want you can do one coat and have them really transparent or do a few but I, I really love these so I'll leave you to watch me enjoy
And here we are with all the cute little, I was going to say butterflies, they're ribbons. They're bit, you know, they ribbons or butterflies? I oh, don't know. Whatever you want them to be. <laughs> but how cute are they? I can't decide what my favourite colour is, but I do like all of them. They're gorgeous. And I just think the bottles look cute, especially with those little bows on them. There we go. And now here is another set of gels that I don't think I showed you before. But these are also, oh no, these are from AliExpress, they're not from Shein, but they're very reasonably priced. And they also do not have the colours on the bottles, so I'm going to do the little bows, butterflies, ribbons, whatever they are, I'm going to paint those as well. As you saw there, they were only, I think, like £13 or something. Um, I think this is a good little set if you're just starting out and you don't have too many colours. Uh, they've got some, there's a red, a red jelly, a nude, a black, a white, a black jelly. So yeah, I think it's a very, really good little set for £13. And I quite like the uh, viscosity of the, the gel polish. And I think they're pretty good. So yeah, definitely a bargain. Although again, like I said, you'll have to wait a couple of weeks for them to arrive. Uh, but yeah i think they're well worth the wait and the price and how nice are the bottles Just adding on, how lovely is this red? A proper classic red, you can't go wrong with this. So I definitely do think this is a great little set. And you just, you can't really go wrong. It's gorgeous. This red is also quite nice as well, classic. But we are coming to the end of the video. If you have watched all the way to the end, leave me a little comment. A bow, a ribbon, a butterfly, whatever you like. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe and like the video. It does really help me out. And hopefully I'll see you again next time.